What's up guys, thank you so much for coming back today. Today, I have another unboxing from Iconic Odd. So, we did another trade, and they got me again. This box weighs 3 pounds. The box I sent them weighed like 8 ounces, because I just sent a pop. But you know what they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, that's strike three. So, I'm going to get you back, Iconic Odd. But, as for today, I'm just going to show you what's in the box. So, we did do a trade. And, uh, we did trade... What did I pull? I had the Deadpool, the zombie Deadpool. I did pull that one out of the box. And they had a Ghostbuster mic. Um, from the Stranger Things. We are working on the Stranger Things set right now. So, uh, we did a trade. I thought we was just doing a trade straight up. Did not throw anything in the box. And lo and behold, here I am with this this big this big box here. So, but, guys, thank you so much to Iconic God for always, always putting on great boxes, great content. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely go check out their channels. Um, their lives are freaking hilarious. Uh, they're great people as well. Um, and if it's your first time here, hit the like button. And subscribe if you want to. Um, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. And then through the weeks, there might be like some bonus content. But, as for now, let's go and get into this box. So, I already see some books. Okay. So, this is Garfield. I guess because in the last video, I did mention I like Garfield so much. This is Garfield Bigger Than Life, his third book. So, that's pretty awesome, man. It's just full of like comic strips and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome, guys. Man. That looked great on the shelf, too, as well. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. So there's that. Some wrapping on top. Some bubble wrap. Oh, is this what I think it is? It is! A Mad Magazine. Man, I used to collect these so much as a kid. I mean, October 1982. So I was not even thought of yet. Man, I used to love the Mad magazines. Um, I think it was in the middle. You would do like a mashup page where you would fold and make a different picture. Yeah, right here. So, this is what the picture looks like originally. And then let me fold, if I can remember how to do this. You fold A to B and then you get a totally different picture. I don't see that too well. But, man, you don't understand how much I used to, my mom used to go grocery shopping, and I would just sit in the magazine aisle and just read mad the whole time. So what do we have here? Tarps. Para magazine. So this must be a paranormal magazine. Ta okay, Taps. Okay. And it looks like it is signed. I don't know who that's signed by. But we do have an autograph right here. That's pretty awesome. Probably because I had the orb in the video. Okay, yeah. Tabs. I think... Are they with Ghost Hunters? I think that guy used to be on Ghost Hunters, I believe. I'll definitely have to check that out as well. What we have in here is... <laughs> Man. Check this old guy out. Is this the book? This is Back in Future 2 book. Wow. I have, I have never seen the book. Ever. Check that out. That is pretty awesome. As you guys don't know, I am a huge Back to the Future fan. So, Brian and Nicole, thank you guys so much for this. This will go directly on the shelf. You guys are so awesome. Let's see what is... Let's see what this is. Does I ever band around it? What is this? Is this a poster of some sort? Extreme Pro Wrestling. Uh, okay, so this has a bunch of old ones. This must be like ECW back in the day. I'm assuming. Yeah, it has to be. Oh, Extreme Rising. But a lot of these were um, ECW guys like Shane Douglas, Matt Hardy, uh, Blue Meanie, Jerry Lynn, Sabu. Let's see, New Jack. New Jack, that dude's crazy, man. He actually stabbed a guy in the ring. Look it up. You can find it on YouTube somewhere. But that's crazy. Awesome. I love that poster. I am a wrestling fan as well. Um, another Garfield book. Garfield on the town. Man, this brings me back like to the book fair days. 
When you'd have like two bucks and you could come out there with like 40 pencils and 10 erasers. Awesome, man. Let's see. I know what's in that. Let's see what we have in here. We have some candy, looks like. We went trick-or-treating, I guess. We have... Alright, it's cool. So we have some suckers. Some Tootsie Roll Pops. Some little bitty ones. Be eating on those later. More paper. What is this? I don't know what this is. It shows Fisher on the box. Let's open it up and see what it is. I'm not for sure what this is. There's no instructions on it. Is it one of those things that like uses balance? I'm not for sure. I'll have to message Brian and ask him what, what is how this works. Um, let's see, we have another card in here. Okay. This must be like from a a play, maybe? I'm not sure. It's just an old magazine. It does have stories in it. <laughs> so the guy's carrying the girl around. It's pretty cool. Looks like they're having tons of fun. They're laughing. He must have said something funny. Alright, so we do have... Alright, so this is a beef chart, in case you guys were wondering. Angus beef chart. So that tells you where all of the, uh, the beef comes from. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Alright, we got something else here. And another cow. I don't know what Brian's trying to tell me. Do am I do I look a cow? Do I eat too much beef? I don't understand. But definitely pretty funny. Throws. I think he does stuff. I think he throws stuff in the box to throw me off. Um, because the last box I did unbox, uh, there was some stuff that I did not show on camera, and he got the biggest kick out of it. That made me laugh so much. No way, man. He threw in a ninety-eight degrees. CD. I think this is, uh, oh, Invisible Man, instrumental. Dude, I'm gonna be throwing down some karaoke on that one. 98 degrees. Oh, and we do have Christina Aguilera. We were just talking about singles, uh, how we could buy these back in the day for you, for you guys that are kids. Um, you could, you didn't have to buy the whole CD back in the day. You could spend, like, a dollar ninety-nine and just get one song off the CD. And we were just talking about this the other day. So we do have Genie in a Bottle. Another Extreme Rising poster. And then, yeah, on the back. See, does this have a date? It does not have a date. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure this is shut down now. Because this, uh, these guys were a lot younger back here, back in this day. Still pretty cool. Little poster. Um, and looks like we have some, uh, some comics. And let's see here. We have the Victorian. There's that. There's that comic. And the pages are pretty crisp in this. Um, let's see here. We have variations of the theme family. Not sure what that one is. And then we have. Oh, I like this one. This is Planet of the Apes. This is definitely a cool one. Let's see here. Number 12, Planet of the Apes. That's pretty awesome. I do love the old movies, Planet of the Apes. I do love the new movies as well, of Planet of the Apes. So this one's definitely one we'll have to take a look at. And then this one... This looks like maybe a spoof. Can't really tell. It does say Laughing Gas. So that kind of looks like... Maybe Conan the Barbarian? On the cover? Not sure. I'm sure Brian will correct me if I'm wrong. That's pretty cool. Alright, so what else we got in the box? We just have... Oh, man! Oh, that is awesome! So we do have a pocket pop of Iron Man. That's definitely staying on the shelf. It's not going anywhere. I was able to just pick up the other day... I was able to pick up the Black Panther uh, pocket pop. I'm surprised I was still able to find one. I just happened to be walking through the store and saw one. And I definitely grabbed it as fast as I could. So, what is this? Is this a balloon? Sits on, sits on the table. What is this? 
Oh, I think that's that that's Pennywise. If you guys can see that. It's pretty cool. I do collect Pennywise, the pops and stuff. That looks pretty cool. All right, what do we have left? I think that is it besides the pop. We'll show that last. These should be more stickers, I believe. All right. Oh, no, they're not stickers. They're some cards. Okay. What do we have here? Ghost Rider. Man, I have not seen these in forever. Trading card treats. So that is Ghost Rider. I'm not going to take it out of the package, but that is Ghost Rider. Nightcrawler. Man, these are from 1991, guys. These are pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have some football cards. We have Michael Jackson. <laughs> Which is, he is not moonwalking. He plays for the Cleveland Browns. There he is. Michael Jackson, that's pretty funny. That would suck to have a name, like a very common name, like Michael Bolton or Michael Jackson. We have Greg Gilbert. This must be from... I don't know what this is from. The San Antonio Raiders. This must be like uh, a minor league team or whatever. But, um... Never heard of this guy. Alright. Oh, I do know this guy. I used to have a lot of this guy's baseball cards back in the day. This is Daryl Strawberry. Used to love this guy back in the day. I think I used to have a card with him standing in a strawberry field. I think that used to be one of my cards. Um, let's see. Bob Horner from the Atlanta Braves. Wow. 1978 first round draft pick. There's that. Used to be a huge Braves fan back when I was a kid. And Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. 1976 Orioles. Used to love Reggie Jackson back in the day, too. Alright, and we have a sticker. Man, he sent me another uh, Homer sticker. That's pretty cool. I do have the other Homer right here on my desk. So there's another one. that I'm going to put it right next to that one. And we have Shane Douglas. And then on the back, we have Matt Hardy. And then the last one we have is a kid put <laughs> we do have a kid pushing cheeks together kind of like the home alone uh all right man brian you get nicole over at icon of god you guys crush it um so many cool things just so many things to bring back like parts of my childhood guys i'm telling you if you haven't checked them out go check them out um they are a ton of fun and be warned if you do a trade with them they're not just gonna send you the pop Okay, watch my other video. Um, I thought I was just going to do a trade, and then I ended up getting a whole other box that I had got in way over my head, and I just ended up sending them just a comic book that was signed. So, guys, be warned. Alright, and the last thing, the, the reason for this whole entire trade, I think he did pull this out of a mystery box, and we do have Ghostbuster Mike. So that will be added to our collection as well. There it is. So as far as this set goes, we have Mike, Lucas, Dustin. We still need Joyce, Max, Will, and Eleven to complete this set. And this is from Series 2, I believe, Season 2. But yeah, that's it. But, guys, amazing box. Amazing fun. Thank you guys so much. Um, I don't even know where to begin to go through this stuff. And I'm so intrigued by this right here. I don't know what this is. But I'll hit you up and see what it is. But, as it goes for me today, guys, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and drop me down a comment. Just let me know how you liked today's video. And that's it for me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks.